the Ramba, so it's a very exciting day. The Ramba begins that there's five mitzvahs. The Zeo Proton, he says, Leois Tfilin Aladosh, mitzvah number one. Lekashro Malayad. The second mitzvah is Tfilin Shulyad. So there's a couple kashas over here. There's a kasha that many Achreinim ask, the Chemdas Yisroel, why does the Rambam first say Shal Rosh, then say Shal Yad, when the Torah it says clearly, Ukshatom Leisal Yodecho, first Shal Yad, then Shal Rosh. Another question is asked, is why are they two mitzvahs? The Ramban asks on the Rambam in the Shaloshim test and Sefer mitzvahs. If he made Cheles and Lovon in Tzitzis in one mitzvah, why does he make Tfilin Shal Yad and Tfilin Shal Rosh into two mitzvahs? And the Reb, there's a beautiful novel, Chiddush of the Rogat Shavagoyen in Hilchus Tfil. It's, 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 it's an amazing Chiddush. The Rogat Shavar writes like this. That there's two mitzvahs. There's Tfil and Shalyad, the mitzvahs just to tie them on you. Then there's another mitzvah of Tfil and Shalrosh that they should be on your head, and every minute they're on your head is another mitzvah. It's two separate mitzvahs. So why don't we? Put on the tefillin shal yad and take them off right away. Because the tefillin shal yad serve as another mitzvah. Not as a mitzvah, but there is a t'nai in tefillin shal rosh. Kol zman necho. As long as there is tefillin on your head, there has to be a shal yad there. That's why when we take off the tefillin, we first take off the tefillin shal rosh and then the shal yad. Because the shalrosh, there's a tenai in the shalrosh that it can't be on your head unless the shalyad's also there. It's a very, very novel chiddush. And there's many rayas to this chiddush. One of the rayas is that that's the answer to the Ramban. The Ramban says the Rebbe asks, why is it two mitzvahs? It's two Maisa mitzvahs. It's two separate Maisa mitzvahs. The Maisa mitzvah shalyad is lekashe to tie it. The Maisa mitzvah of the shalosh is that li yoisala rosh the way the Rambam writes. So therefore. It cannot be one mitzvah. Therefore, it's two separate mitzvahs. There's another fascinating question that Ogachover asks. If it's two separate mitzvahs, why can't you talk between putting on film Shalyad and Shalosh? If it's one mitzvah, I understand. But if it's two separate mitzvahs, why can't you talk between them? And the Rogachov, in his classic style, two, three words. This is Lohaniach, and this is Sheyehei Munach. Meaning, there's two pratim in Shalyad. There's one prat in Shalyad. That the Shalyad is a separate mitzvah, Shira. Then there's another Prat in Shalyad where Shalyad and Shalrosh are one mitzvah. Regarding Leo Ismunach, because you ha it has to be there, because otherwise the Shalrosh is possible, it's not a kosher Shalrosh, it's a Tnai in Shalrosh. 
Regarding that, it is one mitzvah. The Dogit Shavra also says something beautiful. The, the broche of when you put on film shalyad is lohoniach film shalyad. Lohoniach film. Why doesn't it say with a komatz? Lohoniach to put on. Why? Why with a komatz? Why not lahaniach? Says the Rogit Shover. Dos meant lohoniach. Lohoniach doesn't mean to put it on. Lohoniach means because through it should be put on the shorosh. Because it's at nine shorosh. Unbelievable diuk in the Nusach Abroch of Lohoniach. The Rogit Shover also brings the Gemara in Shabbos of Kufnum Gimel, where the, the Gemara says, V'shemen al reishcha lo yechsan elu tfilin shul berosh. Since by tfilin shul berosh, every second you wear them, there's a new mitzvah, that's V'shemen al reishcha lo yechsan. But the tfilin shul yad, once you put them on, you did the mitzvah. With this, the Rebbe answers the Seder, Hamitzvah of the Sefer Hayat. Everyone muts it to try to understand what's the Seder of the Rambam. He doesn't go Al Seder Hapashias. The Rebbe says that he goes Al Seder Atediros on the frequency. Since Tfil Shalosh is more a frequent mitzvah than Shalyad, he puts the mitzvah of Shalosh first. And you see it in the words of the Rambam. Li yois tfilin ala roish, le koshram ala yad. It's a different nusach because it's a different mitzvah. That's why the Rambam finishes Sefer Ahava with the mitzvah of Milo that happens once a lifetime. And this is the Seder of the Rambam. And this is a, a very, very, very beautiful Chiddush of the Rogat Shover in the Rambam. And, and uh, with this, many questions are answered. God bless you with a wonderful day. The Rebbe also explains it, how it works, that the Tfilon Shulyad helps the Shulrosh. The Tfilon Shulyad is Midas, and they're automatically drawn after the Shalrosh, the Rebbe Shter Gebem is all zeicher zayin onton film, and it should be poiling us shibud aleva hameach, and that's why, and and that's this this is a very very interesting chiddush of the Rogatshava. Have yourself a wonderful day.